Hi there, uh, my name is Terry. Um, I've just finished making this door. It's the 5th of May 2022. I'm going to do a quick tutorial, try not to make it too long winded, as to how I've made it. I'll also be explaining about the iron mongery. Darren did that. And, uh, at the end, I'll leave his number and my number. Okay? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this little video. joints we're using for the actual door. This is called a hammerhead tenon and it locks together. Just press that in and get these folding wedges and be two top, two bottom. When they're tapped, it'll pull it all tight. Now, to keep it tight, make sure it never moves, I'm going to drill two dowels through there. After that, then I've got, I'm going to send two wedges. Here's a tip. If you do one north-south and the other east-west, when you drive them, you won't split your dowel. So that's that one joint. So, like I say, a hammerhead tenon, and at the top, top's a little different. The top, you put, you put together with a thing called a loose key. That's the loose key, similar to this. So I'll mortise that next. Send that through. And to make sure it's there forever, I'll put four dowels. So that'll be that. That's the outer frame of the actual door. I'll put that together. Then I'll put in the lock rail and seal. And I'll come back then. Hello again. Just a quick video on how I put the frame together. Um, first of all, I've cut the pieces out, obviously, and I've drilled these. I'll try and show you the, the joint as best I can. I've drilled these for a bolt to go through. That goes there, lines it up, clicks together. And you tighten the nuts at each side with two small spanners. I'll do this here. Afterwards, these pieces will be glued and screwed all around. These will be screwed through here, glued everywhere. And That'll be the door frame ready to sand. I'm not 
sure if you can see, I have a rebate here. I might have to do a closer one. This is for the rubber draft proof seal. When this side of the frame goes on, that will slip into the, to the recess. Okay, so that's it for now. Just another little thing I'd like to point out. If you're doing something like this, try to stagger these joints as best you can. It gives it like a brickwork strength as opposed to having them one over the other. Just a little thing I'd like to point out. two little things. I um, put in my lock railing seal as I said. Um, I dealt the tenons as I said and a couple of extra little things I did. I sent dowels this way to hold the arch strong because there's a joint here. I did the same on the other side. On these tenons, this is just an ordinary mortise, haunch mortise and tenon. I, um, I dowel them just for the look because it's a castle. This particular one, I, I did a stopped mortise because I was afraid of weakening the tenon here. I didn't want to take any material from here. So I'll show you a stopped tenon, the one here. You just mortise in two thirds. That one will pass in, but when it hits the base, these wedges will drive. It's called a fox wedge tenon. And when they drive, they'll make it very solid. It'll stay together. That's this joint here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, we've got these two pieces. I'm going to arm and join these in the middle and make an X. Just again, castle look more than anything. So I'll halve them and put them in here and I'll just show you how I'm going to sink them. There's a little formula for it. Right, if you bring up these two lines up from the lock rail and if you square in one third of the full width and then connect them two points that's a formula for that, it keeps it strong. I'll sink that down flush, lock rail and seal. Half this one, as I said, and I'll come back to you after that. We'll be ready to put the sheet in. Now, just to show you the X going in, I've chopped halfway down, as you can see. Um, I'm just going to be gluing that in, actually. Um, Half the joint, as I said, here in the middle. Um, while you just go in halfway, I can put a screw in these four corners and I'll drive a dowel similar to this for the look. And actually, I'll do a couple there. And that'll be it. I'll come back to you then and I'll do the sheet. Now it's time to put in the sheet, and so I'm going to turn it over, get it ready, and I'm going to show you. You can see that carved in these. This is made by Terry Cody for Philip and Pauline McCormick. And more importantly, of all, the year 2022. So that's a little secret it'll be holding on to for many years, I'd say. Um, I just want to show you the way I did it. I, um, instead of tool and groove, I grooved both sides. Um, it's easier to fit. Be honest, easier to machine as, as boards and fit in and, and groove afterwards 
and um, I can get a deeper tongue as well as opposed to using the modern tongue and real footers. Um, so I'll just clip them together. place them in and show you. Um, afterwards then what I will do is I'll take them out again. I'm, I need to run a bit of silicone uh, just to keep it dry inside. And I'm going to pin these um, rather than screw them because I need them. The sheet needs to move like flooring and I'm afraid if I screw everything it'll cause twist. So just to give it movement I'll use a silicone that won't actually glue the boards. It'll be only on the edges and I'll, I'll just use pins and after I have that done we're nearly finished then um, this door has a, a little speakeasy door I'll show you now just as soon as I get this sheet and drop in now. that's it, in she goes My little speakeasy door, that's the start of it. It's just like a little, little door frame. And um, I'm going to sink that into that. And afterwards, then I'll come back to you again. So, like I say, I'll take out the sheet and I'll seal it, I'll pin it, and I'll cut the opening for this. And I'll just come back to you. Here's the sheet and going in now. Um, Actually, I meant to say the tongue groove before I put them together. I just seal them with some um, some Danish oil. I put it here as well and all around. I won't ever see it again after that, but it will, it will help. sheeting in. Um, I just I just hung the door and put Danish oil on it. Um, I can show it to you working. Uh, I can actually lift the camera and bring him around. Look at that. The lovely Darren in Scotland made that. He's made all the iron mongery. At the end of this I'm going to put up his number for you. Um, he can post anywhere in the world. I'll put a rubber seal all around. And on the very bottom, that bar will sink halfway into the floor. And the bottom of the door then seals, if you can see that, a little rubber seal. the lock. How many would make that? That unreal. And the hinges. So 
So that's it. That's how I make a castle door. I hope it helps anybody who's decided to make one. And of course, if somebody ever wants to buy one, just contact me. I can post anywhere in the world too. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.